Welcome to the channel everybody, my name is Ryan and we are playing Terraformers today. And as you can see, we are here focused on our little colony on Demos City. Now this one's actually dragging us down quite a bit because it's got very high expectations for whatever reason. But it's turning out to be a scientific boom here. We've got a laboratory, a rover museum, and they're both sitting on top of anomalies. Now not to mention we've also got a mine over here. Um, it's producing titanium, but I think it is actually hurting the population here because the headquarters does count as a population center. So I kind of want to move this. Yeah, we'll put, I don't know, we'll put something benign here, something later on. Now this is really going to hurt the, uh, yeah, this gives you negative 10 support from relocation, but only takes two turns, so it's not huge. It doesn't take forever like the bacteria spreaders do. Uh, speaking of which, we've got two regions currently with bacteria. One, it, I, they might both be the same. This one is the methogenine. Okay, so that helps heat. I'm probably butchering that too. Yep, this one is also for heat, so that's good. I mean, when we get heat, oh, we'll start to get some water. You can see now, we are getting water here. <gasps> we've got to be careful. We've got to be real careful because we've got some stuff here that will flood. I think it might mostly be safe, except for a few key spots. So I've got to keep my eyes out for that. But you see most of the water is located up here in the poles. Um, let me check my trade routes real quick. Okay, they are balanced out. Next turn, we're going to get 40 more oceans, so that'll be pretty huge. We'll see. We're about to get uh, flooded. <laughs> the planet, I should say. I don't. I think maybe our settlements are okay. This one right here. Yeah, this one needs a dike. Our, the city itself, if it rises to level 3. Right now we're at 2, so we could get to 3 if we're not careful. We might have to move this city, which is a shame because I just built it. But uh, we'll see. We'll see how things go. Let's check out our skills. Everything's done. I don't have any buildings to play, so let's move on, folks. Let's check our thing. Actually, we're real close to victory, 286 to 400. If we can keep things kind of on balance, we might do okay. Let's see. Cloudscaping canopy. Gain five support per plant you spread loose. Ooh. Um, I'm just going to go for the five science. Cool, look at that, Oxi or atmosphere increased, <gasps> more science. We don't need that for Demos, but a laboratory, or this would be helpful too. I don't know, <clears throat> I don't think this is actually going to get a bonus from Demos, but let's, let's check it out. First things first though, let's enable this. I want to see what this does to our water level. Oh, okay, it just moved up the bar, it didn't even put us like up a full level, so that's cool. We're safe. All right, we're safe for now. Let's check this one here. Um, oh, where's Demos? Beautiful. Now, yeah, that's not gonna do anything. This will do something, right? Hold on. This is too, no, no, neither of these will, will bone us off that. I'm sorry, my bad. So we can just place these anywhere. Like right over here would be fine. Thing is though, hold on. Ooh, I should probably do this. Yeah, we need to do this instead because that technology is so critical. And we actually have a current technology that gives us a bonus for that. So our support's gone up. I think we're good. Okay, well check it out. We've got a couple locations up here near this ocean area that have water. So I want to explore this. We might be able to trigger some sort of event to further increase the ocean level if there's something here. Oh, laboratory. That's cool. We can put that on Demos. Let's grab that. And this one I think I'm just going to convert. Okay, check it out. Aquifer. Extract water for the oceans. Question is, do I guess, yeah, we need to control this area. Who we could, it would cost us some serious support, but if I saved up and placed the road paver down on this one, I could definitely get over to this aquifer. 
alternately, if I move this city, I think I can do that. Relocate the city and all its buildings to another location. So if I were to put it here, then it would protect it from the water and it would allow us to access the aquifer more easily. Now, I don't think I'm gonna do that just yet because we're gonna lose access to these mines here. Well, this isn't a mine yet. I don't. I won't build on this just now. We'll, we'll wait. Uh, but um, I might do that, actually. First things first, though, let's explore around it. Well, this won't be around it, but we'll check this one right here. Beautiful. Now, he's already used his skill, but um, I think we're going to do that. So I need to focus on exploring these two sections over here because we want to know what's directly next to our little city area. Let's see, plant spreaders, probably no good. I don't think we have any plants that we, yeah, we only have one option and it requires rainfall and temperature, which we don't quite have yet. We're getting closer though, but let's see here. We're also getting closer to victory. Look at that, 321. Woo -hoo. Let's go back to Demos and we can place a laboratory for bonus. Beautiful. All right, we're good to go. I think the turn is safely over. Oh, wait, no, trade routes. We got one left, that's right. Um, more oceans here or, well, let's just focus on the satellites because those are always helpful. There we go, beautiful. Oh, new leader. Oh, sorry, Hong Tao, we, we barely knew you, buddy. This guy is the miner. Yeah, oh, we needed him like one liter ago, two liters ago. I suppose he's constructing plant spreaders. Oh, eh. I think we're gonna go with the miner. Yeah, tritium plus earthworks is so good when you're founding new colonies. This is a good one too, actually get extra resources of the from a mine that you control. This one costs double the power and produces 15 atmosphere every time he goes exploring. Yeah, that's huge. Ooh, speaking of atmosphere, we can do that. Tritium's pretty easy to come by. Let's see, do I have any? Okay, I do have one open. But I kind of like to finish these off real quick. Yeah, let's get that one finished as quickly as possible. Exploration satellites are very helpful. All right, speaking of which, we have one available. We've decided to focus over here. Good, oh, just an empty spot, huh? Oh, this is a kind of pricey one, but we've got the energy for sure. Not too bad. Sandstone, we can turn that into something if we control the tile. All right, so the goal, yeah, is to get this... Uh, aquifer extracted for oh it's pretty cheap too pretty cheap all right i don't think also i don't think that'll be enough to quite put us over the edge but we'll see all right how we doing here rover exploration where did we want that at i'm gonna hold off on developing stuff because i'm not quite sure if it just resets everything when i move although i have a feeling i bet you it will Anyway, rover, rover, where do I put rover here? Also, I gotta keep in mind, next turn, this bacteria spreader is gonna be ready. Um, Mr. Rover, ooh, there's a lot of good spots over here. I'll just put it, oh, I don't have anything to expand with here. I can do a Android hub. Yeah, ooh, that's a lot of titanium though. Such a valuable, valuable resource. Oh boy, this is a tough one. Should I do that? Well, if I do, I won't be able to place the rover, will I? <laughs> so I'd have to wait several more turns. Yeah, let's just hold off. Maybe there's a better spot for it. Boy, oh boy. This one, you know what? I should probably spin this titanium right here. How's our... Ooh, support's pretty high. Uh, hold on, let me look around a little bit. All right, well, I think I've decided we're going to go with Great Water. I'm going to expand to this one. Then I'm going to place the rover. Then that's going to allow us to explore all around there. Because there's a lot of, yeah, there's a lot of good stuff in this general vicinity. Okay, just brought down our support a tiny fraction. And I think we're set. Yep, in turn, trade routes are good. Let's go. Oh, wait, 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 wait. 
14, 20. I kind of want to wait for this big boy right here. This is a good one. Yeah, we can actually research an extra project per turn, not to mention you can have two extra ones in reserve. Yeah, let's save up for that one. We should have a next turn. Oh, more negative support income. Now, this is interesting. Three power. Huh. Or touring company. What is this? For support for every planet location upgrade, providing support, comfort. Um, Very situational. Android Hub is nice. I'm going to go with this one, though. Wait. Oh, never mind. I can, though, if I'm smart about it. Look. Boom. Beautiful. Now I can do it. All right. Now that actually freed up some trade routes. Let's send all five of them to there. Fill up the oceans real quick. Is that what I want? Um, nah, hold on. Let's do this. Oh, that will allow us to save up a little titanium for a few turns. Okay, plant spreader, no. Yes, yes, development center. Let's see. I don't need this on Demos, but I think I will put it there, if possible. Let's see, Demos. Yeah, I can put that there. Beautiful. All right, very good. Oh, yep, I'm glad I noticed that. We've got a bacteria we can spread. Let's go look for it. Where are you, little bacteria? Now, I don't know. This is helping a lot with temperature. Oxygen would be really, really nice. So let's see here. It can go to this one. Yeah, let's put it, I guess, in this one. That's cool. That's good to go. Beautiful. That gave us some support right there. All right, now we have a satellite, and we can do our cleanup here, which will give us more atmosphere. That's actually pretty huge. Um, let's see, what's the cheapest one? Jesus, look at that, 14. Dang, something cheaper than that. I'm sure of I don't even care what we get. I just want a cheapie. Well, it looks like six is the cheapest. There we go. Okay, um, now we got a satellite. So this is a freebie, and we should use it tactically. What do I want? Possibly some titanium. Yeah. Silicates would be nice too, because for whatever reason, it's been really hard to get some of those lately. So how about this one? Titanium and silicates. Beautiful. Okay. Support. Loving it. Looks good. Oh man, there are so many like places to set up uh, cities, I'm noticing. But anyway, I'm getting distracted here. Let's focus. What do we got? Trade routes are good. Skill is used. Projects are all set. All right, let's do it. We are so close to victory, guys. Maybe we can push it. Did I do it? Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Almost forgot about this. Android Hub. Place once per support. I think I'm going to go with the Android Hub. Let's do this. Oh, nice. Deer. Plants. We have more plants to spread anyway. All right, I can't do that. Development center. We just laid one of those. I guess I'll pick this one up. I don't know when I'll be able to place it, but look at that. Population adjacent buildings produce science. That's cool. All right, good to go. We'll take the science for that last one. Now we've got two rovers. These are both specific location rovers, though, so... Oh, look at this. Titanium, silicates, tritium. Nice. How about this one? Okay, this one's... I didn't pay attention to the other one. I, maybe I can sync them up again. I kind of like that. Is it five turns? Yeah, okay, it looks like five turns. Well, this one's three, six. Here, this one's five. Cool. <clears throat> now we got them both popping up again in five turns. Very good. This is, um, do we need any resources, like, heavily? Maybe titanium? Huh, let's see here. Honestly, no. I mean, I do want titanium, but now that we're not exporting tons of it each turn, we're doing okay. Um, let's see here. I'm going to, hmm. You know, I think just for the sake of the points, since we're super close, I am going to just go ahead and start laying buildings here. So let's place the androids in it. Which one do we have that gives us a bonus? This one. 
Yeah, this one does. Boom, so that'll help. Now we can also place a research center. So let's put that on Demos. Now we'll put it somewhere else. Hold on. Yeah, this one's probably better. Put that right there. Again, just trying to really push our points. We're at 363. It's going to be it. I guess I could place the plant spreader since I do have an abundance of nitrates and I'm not really using it. I don't have the intention to like actually plant. I can't spread plants, but I think placing it would probably just help a little bit. I'm still thinking about moving the city, so we're holding off there. But um, let me see here. Where can I place the old plant spreader? Let me find a spot for this. Look, this one's got four places to expand. Gee, believe it. That's insane. All right, I'll expand there. That should be good. We'll just plop it down. I just want to see. No, I'm not going to spread anything, but 362. Actually, that brought me down a point? Weird. Maybe it was this. Spending this point is what brought me down. I'm not sure. Huh. Oh, well, doesn't matter. We're still super close. Can we actually spread? No, no, of course not. All right, let's move on. Let's see here, solar cleanup, I'm definitely doing that. Let's find a cheap one. Well, it really doesn't matter, we have tons of energy. Let's just find one that doesn't like hurt our support levels. Nitrates would be better for me, let's do this one. Two nitrates, ah, so stingy. Oh, look at that, large meteorite, that's pretty cool. Um, what else? What else? That's done. All right. We can lay another Android hub. Like I'm saying, I think just for the benefits of the support we get from this, because this gives us plus one cover living for every two robots. Here's three robots right here. That's huge. That's so huge right there. All right. Very nice. Um, I think that's it for this turn let's really push it let's see if we can't beat this scenario 365 all right all right that helped let's go oh look at this um no i'll take oh, combined living center taking it i got one more i'll take this because we have such an abundance of water right now which is awesome but equally kind of crazy maybe we could spill that out into the oceans or something probably not Okay, what do we got? Satellite. Let's check out. I'm interested in maybe finding another, like, yeah, deep aquifer we can spill open. So let's explore a little bit more up here. What am I doing? This is what we want. Mm, nope, nothing there. It is an ocean location technically now, though, which is kind of cool. I bet you, can we not even get there, like, with our rovers? Yeah, we can. Even with the rover, we can go in the oceans, huh? That's kind of crazy. Let's try this one. Extra titanium. Nice. Yeah, it's a flooded large titanium deposit. Okay, ocean location. I hope the rover's okay. It didn't get rusty or anything, did it? Let's see here. Okay, so combined living center. Ooh, 365. We're pushing it. We are pushing. Let's see here. I don't know. Like I said, I do want to kind of slap this down. Let's check on Demos real quick. This he, There is some population here, but there's not much in terms of free spots. I just want to look at it. I think it's okay. I think it's doing fine. I hope. Not the best judge, but uh, let's see. All right, I'm going to slap this down. Boom, boom, boom. I'll uh, just put it there for now. We can always move it later. Road paver, not really necessary. Let's see, so that sets that up. These projects are gonna help us for sure in terms of our score. Yeah, I guarantee that. So let's finish that one off. Next, we'll probably want, I'm gonna go for the oceans because it looks to be cheaper. That's cool. All right, let's do it. Oh, nice, what's this? Mining industry, economic growth has, a has been steady for the past few years, and we have more budget than expected. Produce titanium, tritium, water, silicones, food science, and power. This one, mining industry. Mm. Import oceans, can't do it. Definitely taking another combined living center. And I'll take, whew, I'll take this one. 
We can place both all this stuff now. Look at our resources. I'm loving this. All right, we got more satellites here. Oh, we can enable. Hold on. This is atmosphere. Ah, oh, nice. Oh, look at this. 398, folks. We're so close. Just a couple more actions will probably do it. So let's place that. Let's do this. This is, of course, going to give us more atmosphere. I'm just randomly choosing stuff now. I don't even care anymore. 398. Okay, let's place some of these buildings. Research campus. What do you do? You have an adjacency for science. Oh, really? No kidding. Damn it, now I need to move this. Uh, let's Hold on, let's look at some other cities. Probably not that one. Great water, what do you got going on? This guy's got six expansion slots. Dang. Hold on. School produces science per turn. Okay. Is that it? There we did. That was it. Oh, the school did it. Okay, I was going to play some other stuff there, but we did it. Congratulations. Under your guidance, Mars has grown from a desolate wasteland into a planet we're living on. Happiness and prosperity of the Martian population is well earned. Fruit of your labor. Thank you, sir. You were with us only briefly, Arthur, but we love you. All right, so that's cool. Um, what do we do to accept the... Oh, this right here. Click to end the game. Beautiful. Oh, what a wonderful picture. Still under a dome, though. One day we'll change that. One day it'll be lush green forest out there. Oh, look at this. New content. Bus station. Expansion. Okay. Train station. Hyperloop, even more expansion points. We're going to be controlling like large swaths of the planet with that stuff. What else? What else? Oh, dark bacteria. It requires at least one land. Okay. Recharge and to increase climate zones temperature by one. Oh, okay. Interesting. Food monitoring. Gain comfort of living for every four food produced inside the city. That's pretty good. I might start thinking about like specializing cities. You know what I'm saying? Like having one that's all like a food producer, then kind of like we did with the moon that was mostly science. We'll see. Sometimes you, you know, you think up these high minded theories, but when you get into actually playing, it's hard to implement those. But uh, let's see. Restaurant district. 10 food. That's cheap. Adjacent population provides three support. Gain negative five food if at least five food for turn. Huh. Oh, wait, no, I'm sorry. Cost five, cost negative five food if at least five food is produced in the city. So it only costs five if it's, like I said, a, a food specializer. Neat. I like that. Rapid expansion. Woo! New, oh, these are projects. Orbital ring. Three trade routes. Plus one power for, per turn for every five new space projects completed, including this one. All right. Uh, gains increases heat of a climate zone by one step. And MarsNet provides comfort of living globally. Wow. Not too bad. I can see we're going to start needing silicates more and more as we start advancing, like, in the computers and stuff. Oh, that's it. Okay, so we're on our way to level 7. That looks beautiful. We're not going to continue with that map. We're going to go to the next scenario. Let's see. Extra starting options. By reaching at least 50 victory points, you unlocked extra starting options for the next game. Cool. Main menu. Let's check our where we're at on the timeline, so to speak. The scenario timeline. Here we go. This is what I'm looking for. So we're doing this one. Of course, you can jump to the red path, the green path, but we're going to go in order. Um, now, I believe we started off with only three or four things available to play. So it looks like we have unlocked one over here. This is severe difficulty, though. Wow. What are these? It won't tell me. All right, but we're going to start, we're going to be on to this one, I think, next. Goals to earn 500 points. Expectation is seven, very high. Oh, I'm so pumped to jump into this one, guys. I hope you're enjoying this uh, Terraformers content. Let me know what you think down below. Hit the like and subscribe button. Check out tomorrow's episode for the Red Planet Awaits. Difficulty level hard. Anyway, I'll see you then, guys.